Hello and welcome to Final Foe. This is a game that is going to be released on Steam or has been released on Steam if you see it at, uh, after the release date. But uh, if you'd like to check it out, there is a link in the description. This is an isometric cooperative fantasy dungeon brawler slash survival kind of experience and uh, you may be thinking well what am i looking at right here well uh, well as you can see in the top left there it actually tells you it's the skill tree i've just completed the first round of the game and i wanted to show you this because i'm not sure if i'm going to survive the next round but we'll we'll see anyway basically the the, the, the whole skill tree has a wide variety of different play styles available to you so for example you can change your class entirely by going into separate areas over here. So for example, if I wanted to be a fighter with a sword and a shield, this is going to provide me with additional abilities because initially in the first round you have one ability which is just literally this. It's sword strike and I can attack every, uh, well, 0 0.6 seconds as you can see right there. Now, in the game, when you're fighting, this is very much skill-based. It is purely skill based because there's no lock on there's no automatic you know blocking or anything like that you literally have to move away from the opponent in the right timing to be able to avoid taking damage and it's the same thing with the enemies as well they have the same mechanics that you have to deal with too so it's a uh, it's very much a case of you know giving you the full control over whether you get killed or not anyway I'm not going to go for a bow character. I feel like going for a bow character is going to be a little bit too... I don't know whether it's going to be too easy, but I think it might be too easy. So I'm going to go for the fighter with the sword and the shield, because I'm actually thinking that it might be fun to go for like a big axe eventually. Look at this guy. Look at that. The character strikes with an axe in the direction indicated, dealing a massive amount of damage. And also Crush is also available there. 2,200 damage to all enemies hit. Bear in mind, I've only been fighting one kind of character at the moment and um, they're basically just the standard uh, very very um, you know smallish guys so this is my character right now you can see here I have a sword strike and you can attack very very quickly as you see and I also have invulnerability which allows me to not take any damage for three seconds the cooldown is 40 seconds there's also a jump as well here so movement speed while jumping is three times the normal normal speed so this is basically a way for you to dodge out of the way of very very uh, difficult to avoid attacks uh, let's start the next round and see what happens so you can play this as i mentioned at the beginning of the video in co-op so it's up to four players that you can play with and uh, generally I, I would probably recommend that it feels like a fun experience to to play with friends oh this is a new enemy okay i'm not sure how i'm gonna do here The enemy, the enemies are not that difficult initially, but I, I, I have seen on the main menu at the very least that the, uh, the enemy variety is quite numerous. In other words, you are going to be seeing some very big, very big giant-like opponents, and they're going to be uh, pretty difficult for us to deal with potentially. So, Oh, I can kill these guys in two hits now. Okay, that's cool, because it used to take me three hits as a novice. So that's actually really nice. I love the ragdoll effects, by the way. You know me. If you've seen a couple of my videos, you'll know that I am a huge fan of ragdoll effects. And uh, this is this is definitely um, no different. Oh, look at that. He's going down the well. Oh, fantastic. I love it. I love it. The, the only way this, this game could be better is if there was a little bit more impact. A little bit more impact to the hits because that means that the ragdoll effects would be even crazier, and I obviously love that. You know, that's just a, a personal preference thing from my side here. Not really the fault of the game or anything, and generally I very much enjoy this. I actually really like this game, to be honest. But obviously, maybe it's not your cup of tea. Maybe it's not your cup of tea, but uh, generally just check it out. Just, you know, check the store page out anyway, just in case. You never know. Oh, I did actually get hit that right there. Oh, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. All right, well, whatever the case, we seem to be all right so far. And I, oh wow, I literally took damage again. Okay, that's not particularly good. Let's uh, let's use our healing healing ability. So the healing ability heals you for thirty percent of your max HP, which basically means that you gain three hundred HP back. And 
that's why I used it when I was at 700. It has a long cooldown. So obviously, the earlier that you use it, in my opinion at least, the better. That's my strategy at least for, for utilizing my regeneration ability. Oh, that guy got knocked off. Nice. Yeah, but as you see, it's very much skill-based because if you stay within range of the opponent, you're going to get yourself hit very, very quickly. And... There's no blocking button or anything like that, not just yet at the very least. I might uh, might be able to spec into an advanced class. There are nine different classes as far as I'm aware that you can spec into and they all have different abilities. I really very badly want to get to that massive two-handed axe user because I think that is, oh, I, I just can't wait to see that massive axe being swung around doing massive damage and hopefully the ragdoll effects are going to be even crazier with a bigger weapon because obviously I'm just using a sword right now so who knows what's going to happen when I have a big two-handed in my hands that's going to be real nice to see but what I've actually found is that generally the easiest way to deal with enemies at least right now is to move through the hitbox so obviously this is very much a case of if you want to min max or if you just want to you know, be a little bit, uh, a little bit sneaky with how you're, how you're playing. Then obviously you can just move through the hitbox if you want to. Oh no, never mind. Apparently moving through the hitbox straight, or mo uh, not moving through the hitbox, but moving through the model of the opponent might not be the way to go. Because as you saw right there, I actually got hit. So maybe not the best. And oh, oh, look, look, I'm actually getting. Okay, here we go, here we go. I am getting a little bit, a little bit murdered here. I've got to make sure that these guys attack at the same time to maximize the amount of damage I can deal. I actually got hit again. But as long as I don't die, we should be absolutely fine. Yep, there we go. Okay, we got... <gasps> There's a skeleton? Hello there. What are you doing here, skeleton? Oh, you literally hit me for 50... D I have literally no, no health left. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm a little bit worried right now. Okay, we defeated him. All right. Um, I, I don't know what that guy is all about, but um, <laughs> he, he very much wanted to murder me. All right, so I am now capable of selecting my next advanced class. So I think I'm probably going to continue going down the big axe fighter path because I personally think that that's going to be super fun. So we're going to be playing with the big axe. Uh, let's see here. The character grows in size, increasing damage done by 200%. Woohoo! 200%! And movement speed increased by 20%. Okay, nice. We also have that crush ability too. So QWE are the abilities that we need to remember. And yes. Creates a random item. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so that's like a magic user or something like that. Okay, that's, that's looking pretty fun. All right, so I'm just going to heal myself straight away. Uh, do I need to heal myself or are they going to heal me? No, they're not going to heal me, so I'm just going to heal myself immediately upon starting the round. We have 150 enemies to deal with. Oh, and there's a big ogre. Hello there, sir. Hello there, sir. Don't, don't bother me, sir. I am busy. There we go. There's the damage. I did 2200 damage to him, but apparently he does not care. Oh, okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, he berserked. Did you see that? He literally berserked right there. Defeat, your character is dead. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, so I'm actually unsure. How am I supposed to beat that guy? I think... Oh, you know what I've got to do? Yeah, you know what I've got to do? I Okay, yeah. So obviously we start back at the beginning, but we also get the ability to now choose once again our class. Oh no, actually we're not back at the beginning. Never mind. Okay, so I have the ogre again. All right. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit better this time around. So basically what we have to do, in my opinion at least, is save that ability. So as soon as I get uh, as soon as I get him down low, he's going to berserk. 
And then what I have to do is I have to use my blood rage thing. There we go. Blood rage. Boom. Done. Killed. Because obviously my uh, blood rage increases my damage by 200%. And my W ability, which is obviously the crush thing, that does, what is it, 2,200? So I would, I would literally be doing 6,600 at that point, which is really crazy. Oh, they do increase the ragdoll effects. Look. Yes. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, I like it. Oh, I, 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 you know what? All I need now is higher enemy density. I need more enemies. I need more enemies, please. Okay, here we go. Oh, I like it. Oh, no, these guys still take a massive amount to kill. Nice. Get him dead. There we go. That is what you get. Okay, now, now I'm, now I'm, oh yeah, now I'm just chugging along <laughs> like no one's business, really. Okay, I think if they give me another ogre, I know what I'm going to do to him. Oh yes, as soon as he starts to berserk, we know the strategy now. Just got to be careful. These little guys, they really don't pose too much of a threat anymore. But the ones with armor on, well, shall we say the ones with the, uh, the fancy helmets, <laughs> they are going to be slightly more difficult because they take three hits to kill rather than the one the little ones take but obviously them throwing in these ogres every so often this is a bit more difficult okay i'm gonna use this boom and then we have to wait to deal damage to him until that cooldown is back because if i attack and he goes into berserk right now i'm i'm probably gonna die okay wait there we go careful Careful. There, he's berserked. Okay, now attack. Boom, there we go. We took him down. Nice. Okay, very good. I like it. Oh, I love this class as well, by the way. I feel like the other classes will also be really interesting to play as, and they also change your, your play style so significantly. Obviously, you have to use a little bit of strategy when it comes to the abilities, because obviously the ogre, as you saw before, completely murdered me as soon as he entered berserk. But if you time your abilities just right you're then going to get much better results. And that's something to bear in mind. And uh, I'm sure all of them, all of the classes have different ways of dealing with the different enemy types as well. So that's also something that increases the, the strategic depth of the game. Because initially you think to yourself, oh, look at that, it's just one ability you've got. You know, you have Sword Strike. You know, initially you just start off with Sword Strike. And yeah, that's very simple. But that does give you an opportunity to learn the game in a way that provides you a, a nice learning experience rather than something that literally just bombards you with information and just basically says, okay, you've got 2,000 abilities and one second with which to learn what they all do, you know, that, that kind of thing. So it actually does provide you a pretty nice experience, and at least initially, and then it starts to sort of chunk on all of the various things that you need to learn, the intricacies of, and I very much appreciate that. Okay, I've got to be careful here. These guys, oh, this is, yeah, this is a, a bit of a, a, a difficult situation to be in because these guys with the fancy helmets, I don't, oh, I, I'm not doing very well dealing with them, as you can quite clearly see. I'm literally taking massive damage from them for no reason. There we go. Boom. Got to be careful. I should really sidestep more, actually. There we go. He's berserked. Okay, kill him. There we go. Whew. Okay. All right. Nice. So now we can pick from a new ability. Hello there. Okay, so we have passives for all of these classes as well now. So we have Bloody Reaping. The character begins to restore health when finishing off enemies during the effect of Ancestral Might. Okay, 4% of max enemy health you gain back. Might be, might, might be pretty good. The cooldown of your Ancestral Might ability is reduced. Level 1 for 2.5 seconds. Hmm. Ancestral Might is literally a... 45 second cooldown. I feel like level one basically means nothing. I feel like this doesn't do anything. Like 2.5 seconds of 45 seconds. I don't think that's worth it, in my opinion. I feel like um, I feel like the the cooldowns should be four seconds. Uh, well, maybe maybe four seconds. Maybe maybe five seconds for level one. And then 10 seconds, then 15 seconds, then 20 seconds. I don't know. I'm, I'm obviously not the developer or anything like that. But that would be my suggestion. 
I feel like the cooldown should be a little bit more, but obviously that's just me, you know. Very much depends on what you want to do, but otherwise, all damage done by the characters passively increased. Oh yeah, I'm going to take that, thank you very much. I will definitely take that. I want, uh, I want more damage. Oh yes, I want more damage. Alright, so we've got another 150 enemies. I wonder what we're going to get now. Are we going to get the same ogre initially? Yes, we are, but what about two? Are they going to give me two? <laughs> that would be very amusing. Oh, they did give me two. Okay, that is going to be a little bit problematic. Okay, I don't know how to deal with this, actually. Okay, we're going to have to be very, very careful. Okay, he's berserked. Ooh, okay, that was close. Whew. Okay, I had to use Ancestral Might and then use Crush to be able to eliminate both of them. But I, I see that's the thing. I don't know how much HP these ogres have. And if I knew, then I would be able to kind of work out what I would need to do to, you know, finish them off and, and things like that. And I think I could kind of work it out if I went a little bit more, shall we say, a little bit more old school about things. In other words, if I, you know, tried my best to eliminate them just with normal attacks, then that would probably be something that would work because then I could work out how much HP they'd have because obviously normal attacks do 650 with the axe wielding fellow and I might be able to work it out from that. But then you also gotta take the risk of dying horribly. So, <laughs> there's also that. Oh, I wanna try out a new class though, actually. So I'm wondering whether I should just die and then, and then start this round again as a different class. But that's the thing, if I do that, I might very well just um, not be able to play that new class because I haven't worked out how to play it. Oh dear. And now I am dying. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, there we go. We went for it and we're alive. We are alive by the skin of our teeth. Oh my. Okay. This, uh, uh, th things are getting, things are getting kind of, um, kind of antsy right now. Kind of antsy. Uh, I'm gonna just kill the, uh, the regular low health mobs. And then we're going to... I'm just going to try and dodge away a little bit here. Going to try and sidestep the opponent a little bit. Because I've noticed that if you walk away in a straight line away from their attack angle, it's probably not the best idea because they do tend to be able to catch you a little bit with their range. Like for example, these ogres, they can catch you with their massive cleavers if you run away from them in a straight line. So there's also that. Uh, get him! Oh no, I couldn't get him. All right, I used Ancestral Might and tried to try, tried to use Crush, but that was not enough damage. So that that means that I think they have around 8,000 health. I think they might have around 8,000 health, maybe even 10,000 health, which is quite significant. So let's actually have a look at a different class here. So what about the Materializer? It is capable of creating random items, moving them around, and dealing damage at a distance. The character creates a random item, the chance of creating a level 1 item is 80%, and the chance of creating a level 2 item is 20%. And the cooldown is 2 seconds? Okay, that's actually very, very low cooldown. And let's have a look. The Ah, this is greater materialization. There's no cooldown for telekinesis. That's actually amazing. Created items deal damage equal to their own health. So for example, a stack of books has 400 health, a vase has 500, a stool has 600, lantern 2000, stone 3000, a horn 4000, and a crushing shaft 18,000. Okay, I'm actually intrigued. I am intrigued by this class. So I think we will select this. And I cannot do any of these, unfortunately, so... Oh, oh, hello there, look at this, I'm a wizard. Hello there. Oh yes, I am a wizard. I will use... What, what is this? This is the horn. Okay, this is the horn, so let me see. Where's the, uh, where's the ogre? There he is. Boom. Take that, sir. <laughs> this is actually hilarious. Oh my. Okay, this is this is actually really amusing. Okay, let me see. Can I get a can I get a really really good one? Yep, there we go. Thank you. Oh no. Oh dear. 
This is bad. Oh, we got him. We got him with the books. Learn something, you fool. Yes, learn something from these books, you imbecile. There we are. Okay, so let me actually just... <laughs> oh my. Okay, that is actually amazing. That is really, really funny. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm... You know what I think this needs? I think this kind of needs a, um, a movement ability. I mean, it, I know it does have the roll. But I, f I feel like maybe it could use something a little, I don't know, a little better. Maybe like a teleport or something like that. I don't know. This is just my my suggestion here. I don't know whether that's any good. Oh, I, you know what I would like to see as well, by the way? These, uh, these items, I'd like to see a little bit of penetration to them. In other words, I'd like to see them go through the first mob that it hits. Like the bigger ones, at least. Because, like, for example, that boulder right there, I feel like that should have a bit more weight to it. So I feel like it should pass through some of the opponents and, um, you know, uh, crush the ones behind it or something like that. You know, that, that, that kind of thing. But obviously that's just my, that's just my thing. I don't know. Like, the boulder, it's just, it's just so, it should be so powerful. And a boulder, how, how much does the boulder do? 18,000 or something like that, right? I think something like that. Okay, here we go. I, I feel like I should play the archer after this, actually, as well. I feel like I'm not going to survive this, to be honest. Um, I don't know whether it... I, I, I feel like the cooldown might be a little bit too too much. Or, at the very least, it doesn't, it doesn't have enough... Um, shall we say... Stopping power. I think that's the main the main thing that I'm talking about here. Because look, I can definitely destroy these really, really difficult enemies, the ones that we were having difficulties with, um, with the other class. But the other class was having no issues whatsoever dealing with these, um, with these little, little mobs. So, it might be, yeah. I mean, as you can see, I can't really do much about those. I can actually heal myself. I should probably have done that uh, a lot more. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I, I actually really like the randomized element. I really do. I think the randomized element is actually super fun. But it is also a case of, well, we're in some pretty spectacular difficulties right here because I'm just not able to kill as many as I should. Okay, here we go. Have some books. Have a stool. Have a sit. Uh, I mean, have a seat, should we say, or have a sit. Either one. And let me see. Can I, can I get something real good? A lantern. That's not really going to help. Oh dear. Oh dear. I think that might be my death. Yep. <laughs> oh, now he's hacking me up. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Yeah. See, now that's the point. I I like. I really do like the randomization element, and I think if you can get really, really lucky, or if you're just generally better at avoiding things, then I think you're going to have a nice time with that. But I'm going to go for the bow this time around. Big bow fighter sounds pretty fun to me, and let's have a look. The character gets a chance when using the bow shot ability instead of a regular arrow to fire a magic arrow, like the shocking shot ability. Okay, that sounds fun. Deadly arrow has a cooldown re has cooldown reduced. Okay, Deli Arrow has 14, uh, 14 second cooldown. Level 1 gives a 2 second cooldown reduction. That's actually pretty decent. And let's have a look at this. Prolonged Shock. The duration of the stun effect is increased. 0 0.5 seconds for level 1. How much is it actually... Oh, that's actually... Hmm. That's actually pretty good. I'm going to go for Magic Quiver, though. I feel like that sounds the most fun. Ooh, I like the, like the, the design of this guy. Okay, so let me see. How is this going to work? Okay, so you've got to... Okay, so wait a minute. Okay, so I have to literally do it like this. Okay, this is going to be interesting. This is obviously the first time I've played with this character. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, yeah, I am not good at this one. <laughs> Let's just say that. Okay. Oh dear. Stun him. Yes. Take him down. There we go. Okay, so the one thing that you've got to realize is that it aims towards your cursor, all right? So it aims towards your cursor, and as a result, you need to be very aware of if you're trying to kite away from the opponent, 
you can't be too quick with that. So for example, if I'm gonna fire in this direction, boom, I can't, you see, that's what's gonna happen. Every single time I try to, you know, um, shoot in a different direction, that's exactly what's gonna happen every single time. So we have to release the mouse, the mouse button to be able to shoot. And then as soon as you've shot, that's when you have to move. But obviously that is uh, it's pretty, pretty tricky. But I gotta say, I actually like the bow guy probably the most. Although the, the uh, big ax fellow is, I mean, exceptionally fun. I mean, you know me. I really like a big two-handed berserker kind of character. I think they're super fun. Let's use that. Oh, it's a penetrating arrow. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I like it. How many hours does it take to kill these big guys? Four, five, five shots to kill these guys. Okay, good to know. Oh, nice. Good stun. Good stun. Gonna go for a penetration arrow. Okay, that did not really do as much as I thought. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Another ogre. Okay, th this is this is potentially problematic. Oh dear. <laughs> Fired in the wrong direction, of course. <laughs> of course I did. Nice stun. Nice stun. Spam damage. Spam damage. Jump away. Dodge. And we're going to need to we're going to need to be very careful here. Very, very careful. I'm going to go for a really, really good penetrating arrow right now. Boom. Okay, I actually thought it would go a little bit further than that, but no, I, I guess there has to be a limit to how many enemies it can kill. Okay, here we go. I've got to be really careful here, because that ogre on the right, the one that is closest to us right now, that one is lower in health than the, uh, than the one behind. Yeah, like this. You see what I mean? Okay, so this is... Uh, no, no, no! Okay, wait, wait, no, wait. Okay, here we go. Stun. Oh, nice. Okay, he was so low that we were able to kill him with the stun arrow. That's fantastic. The stun arrow, bear in mind, by the way, does do damage. It does a thousand damage. So even if we need to stun, that's actually really nice. I don't know why, but whenever I'm actually wanting to shoot, I always try to hold shift because action RPGs have taught me to do that. <laughs> Let me stun him. Nice. Shoot. Shoot. Nice. He's dead. Okay. Yeah, I think this is probably my favorite class so far. It, it has some very good synergies. I like them. I really enjoy using the magic quiver ability. And I like the fact that you can have a penetration ability of some kind that enables you to have a bit of crowd clearance. So you're not always um, dealing with the little guys as much as you would otherwise. You know, for example, um, with the materializer class it's going to be very difficult to deal with many enemies at once if you don't have some kind of crowd clearance which is obviously what this class is really good at the big axe guy is also really really good at that there we go oh yeah let's do some firing let's do some firing come on get, get him dead get him dead nice good penetration arrow as well let me see if i can just jump away from here i'd like a magic quiver shot really magic quiver thank you Nice, nice. There's another one too. Great. Okay, let me just see if I can dodge away from this. I'm wanting to use penetration. There we go. Nice. Take him down. And now maybe... What is this arrow called? Deadly arrow. Oh, it does 3,500 damage. Okay, that's actually kind of insane. I did not realize that it did so much. Okay. Well, that means that I need to use that much more, in my opinion. Nice. Stunned him. Unfortunately, this is kind of a waste because now <laughs> all the other mobs were uh, basically preventing him from taking damage, but that's okay. Because, amusingly enough, I'm actually not too bad at archer-based characters. I know. You may think that that is a joke, and in, in, in general, you, you might be correct. But yes, generally, I very much enjoy ranged characters in these kinds of games. And I'm just going to try and jump away here. I'm obviously very good at... I'm very accurate, as you can quite clearly tell. Look at my arrows. They are just completely streaming by their faces. I'm just trying to impress them with my wonderful, wonderful uh, dodge rolling abilities. Let's just say that. Seem to be doing a pretty nice job, though. Otherwise, 23 more enemies. And, of course, we do have to deal with that big guy, the big skeleton guy that took me a long time to kill with the big axe. Big axe class. 
Okay, here we go. Rapid fire, rapid fire, rapid fire, rapid fire. As many times as we can. Can I get magic quiver? No, I didn't. Okay, I didn't get a proc, unfortunately. But maybe I can get one. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Okay, I'm going to try and get a really nice penetrating arrow right here. Deadly arrow, shall we say? And there you go, the round is now over. Unfortunately, I still have to deal with this fellow, so I'm going to try and do that. Maybe I can stun lock him. Do you think I can stun lock him? Oh my god, really? Oh, it's capable to stun lock with this character. Okay, that's actually really, really powerful. Okay, so how much chance do I have to fire this off? An 8% chance at the moment. But if I take level 2, that gives me a 12% chance. Okay, that's actually really, really amazing. Deadly Arrow has cooldown reduction. I mean, you can see here, Deadly Arrow does this. When it hits an enemy, the arrow deals 3,500 damage. If the enemy has 3,000 hit points or less, the arrow will pierce him through and through, causing damage to other enemies in its path. Okay, so there is a um, uh, sort of like a prerequisite for uh, working with that ability. That's actually super nice. But we do have to bear in mind that the Shocking Shot ability does not work on bosses and horrible knights. I obviously have not encountered a horrible knight just yet, but I am still probably going to be taking the Magic Quiver. I think that is very, very strong right now, and I'm pretty happy with uh, taking more of that. Oh, hello there. There's the boss. Okay. Oh, okay. It doesn't seem too, it doesn't seem too bad, he says, before he gets horribly murdered. It has 100,000 HP. If you could... Okay, it does seem quite bad. <laughs> okay, it does seem quite bad because he just literally gave himself massive amounts of uh, uh, size and so on and so forth. Obviously, the Magic Quiver is not going to work against him. I'm going to try and just use Deadly Shot a little bit more. Okay, let me uh, get away. Okay, I actually don't think this guy's going to be too difficult. But if he, I mean, if he continues to just do this, then yeah, he's probably not going to be too difficult at all. I can do 500 damage. Okay, wait. No, no, he's doing something now. Oh, 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 okay, okay. He's got ranged abilities. He's got ranged abilities. Good to know, good to know. I'm going to heal myself real quick. Going to just try and dodge it. I assume this is obviously not, surely this is not the thing that he's going to continue doing forever, right? I assume that he will... There we go. He is going to stop doing that eventually. Okay, good to know. And now he's going to grow big again, and then he's going to follow me once more. Okay, that's, that's not bad at all. That is perfectly fine. So I assume the next time he's going to do that is down at 50%. So 50, uh, 50,000 HP. Because he did that at 75. So I would assume it's going to be the... Uh, 50% milestone, as is the case with some raid bosses and things like that, you know, you know, uh, RPG stuff. So I'm going to assume and get ready for that. Yep, there we go. I'm going to continue doing damage while he transitions, because you never know whether you can have the ability. There we go. Nice. I dealt some pretty nice damage in his transition. Well... Yes, as he was uh, transitioning to the other phase, uh, that uh, <laughs> that didn't really go too well, did it? No, that didn't really go too well. Got absolutely murdered. But we can start at exactly this round if we want to, and we can then defeat the boss. Um, but I'm actually going to leave that to you. If you want to pick up Final Foe, then there is a link in the description. Highly recommended, and you can also play it with friends. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.